Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, today we have a rather large, or actually a very large, uh, graded card return from CGC. Uh, I've done a couple of CGC returns before, but I've never done one of this magnitude. So today we have, I believe, 146 cards to go through. Um, I've never recorded a video for this before, but, uh... It's kind of a hobby of mine at this point. I got into card collecting and card grading and all that good stuff. Reselling, trading. About a year ago now. And I've never shared it on this channel before. But I figured I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. So, here we are. Um, so, we have a mixture of Pokemon and Weiss Swartz today. I don't think we have anything else in the mix. Um, I don't know exactly what was in there. I sent this off probably a little over a month ago. Um, and I was just throwing things in there. Uh, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason. I believe we have probably 50 or more, um, Rainbow Rares, Secret Rares from Pokemon. I know we have some Sneaker Bunko, we have some Dragon Maid, and some other lewd cards for, um, my Schwartz side, so let's go ahead and get into it. I have three massive boxes that you can't see that are just off screen on the right here. I've already cut them open, but I'm going into this totally blind. I did not peek at the grades, I did not look, so we're going to experience this together. Um, being that it's CGC, we're probably going to be looking at 9.5 hell a lot of the time, but we're going to hope for some 10s, maybe some perfects, some pristines, and uh, just hope for the best. So, welcome. <laughs> You're coming along for the ride here. And I'm just going to grab... Oh, that's a little bit backwards. No, that's alright. We'll show it the back first so this is the japanese pokemon and okay 9.5 that is the venusaur and snivy gx from um remix bout uh it's a nice card gem mint 9.5 complain about that now i'm wondering if this next one will be the yeah it's the blastoise Ooh, 8.5 that's unfortunate i wonder what's wrong with that one Really see anything that's particularly wrong with that. Hmm. Maybe it could be off center. It could be off center, but probably shouldn't spend too much time on every individual card because goodness, there's a lot of them. All right, then this might be Charizard. Nope, this is Crobat V from V Max Climax. This is a character super rare that pulled the nine. All right, better than the eight point five. See, what could this be? Okay, we got a 10. Blissey V, character super rare from VMAX Climax as well. That's a nice pull. I like that. I'm going to put the 10s in a separate pile. See how many we get at the end. The rest of them are going to be mixed, of course. Because I don't have enough room. All right, another Japanese. 8.5 EV, character rare. Ooh. I wonder what's wrong with that one. These, most of these should be pack fresh. There shouldn't be any major problems with them. Gosh, it's awful well centered. 8.5, huh? Mm. Well, I guess we'll see. Hopefully we're getting through the, the lower grades first here. 9.5. Okay, that's the Obama Snow. VMAX Climax character rare. Very nice. 9.5. It's not bad. Now a lot VMAX Climax was like kind of like the penultimate set, I thought, but now we have. Gosh, I'm not sure how many cards. We have a lot of them that have come out that are now part of the um, Silver Tempest set that just dropped. And we have other ones that have come out over the course of other English sets. So VMAC Climax character super rares are not necessarily as rare as they once were. Alright, there's the cast form. This is also from VMAX Climax, but I think this made it into an English set recently. It was either Lost Origin or Astral or something like that. Another Japanese card here. Let's see. Oh, we got a 10. Perfect 10 Charizard VMAX Climax Hollow. That's what I like to see. So, perfect 10 on that Charizard. Um, I've graded some of these before. They go for between $60 to $80, depending on who's bidding on them. Um, these are not particularly rare cards, but it's a Charizard, so of course people lust over it. And, uh, wow, perfect 10. Our first perfect. That's good to see. Now, I think I sent in three of those, and if, if we're going in the correct order then this might be the same thing. 
It is, but this one only pulls the 9.5. Gosh, what a difference. These are pulled from essentially the same set of packs, the same pack freshness, and one gets 9.5 and the other one pulls perfect 10. CGC does not, um, does not mess around when it comes to that sort of thing. But it is what it is. 9.5. I think this might be the third one. Flip it around here. That pulls the pristine 10. Not as uh, not as bad as a 9.5, but certainly uh, not a perfect. I'm not sure what price point that would go for. I'm guessing $35, $40, something like that. All right, now let's see. More Japanese. Nine. That's unfortunate. Gengar and Mimikyu GX. Still an adorable card. Got the Mimikyu riding the Gengar up there. This is still a... Um, sorry about the glare there. I didn't realize I can see the phone here. Um, this is still one of the better, um, pulls from Tag Team as far as the regular GX goes. People like Mimikyu, people like Gengar. It's definitely a double hitter kind of, um, kind of card. More Japanese here. Let's see? 9.5. Okay, that's the Flaffy. Character super rare. This is an adorable card. Wish it pulled the 10, but they can't all be winners. Um, this is, this is actually a very nice card. I don't know if this one... This is a standard character rare. I don't know if that's in English in an English set. I'm guessing it probably is, but I don't know where it is at the moment. Uh, where it came out. All right, another Japanese card here. <laughs> we got the pristine ten Shuckle GX. Uh, don't mess with Shuckle. Love that. That's that's really cool. I don't know if um. Yeah, I don't know if that's um particularly valuable, but I do love that it pulled the 10. Got a 10 shuckle. I might keep that. We'll see. Uh, the majority of these will wind up on my eBay page or my Mercari page or what have you. Um, I will link those in the description below. So, if you have any of these cards that you're super interested in. Okay, we got a Kabu, VMAX Climax, 9.5. Not a particularly valuable card, unless he graded 10, which he didn't, but that's okay. Go. Here's another one. We have a Japanese again, 9.5. That is Judge from V Max Climax. Not the worst um, card to get. Not the best. Uh, some of these are definitely kind of filler. Um, we'll see. Okay, we're getting into English now. So this is an English back. I don't know where in the submission we are exactly. Okay, that's a Giratina V Star from Lost Origin. Uh, the Giratina. I mean, Lost Origin is a set, meh, to be honest, but Giratina is definitely the chase card from those sets. I wish that pulled better, but I can pretty much see immediately why it didn't. Uh, that looks pretty off-center to me. Looks like it's thicker over here than it is over here. It's okay, it still pulls the 9, which isn't bad. It's not actually not an awful trade for that card. So let's see here. Japanese back again. Back from Japan. 9.5, Professor Oak Setup, Remix Bout. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, this is actually a nice card, I like that. Try to stack these over here. There they will stack, thank you. Alright. Ooh, this is an old one. I think I might know what this is. I, I have one of two guesses of what this is, but I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I don't think this is going to be a particularly high grade, but I graded it anyway because uh, it's kind. they're kind of rare cards. Yeah, okay, so that pulls the five. That is Misty's Tears, and that is actually a banned card. Uh, when they released Misty's Tears for the U.S., they completely redid the art because she's uh, got a lewd or naked silhouette there and uh, can't have that in the United States, so that's uh, that's interesting. Pulls the five. I knew it wouldn't grade high, but... Just having that card encapsulated, it usually fetches decent money. Alright, back into Japan. This is another modern card. 7.5. Okay, so this is the Arceus 2009 Hollow First Edition um, Japanese card. You can see here, this is from Arceus Level X Grass and Fire Hollow First Edition. This is a really nice card. I wish it had just barely pulled the 8. I think that probably would have given it a leg up, but... This was by no means pack fresh, and I don't think um, I don't think it really had a shot at anything higher than an eight. So that is what it is. Okay, here we are. Now we start to get into Weishwartz. Um, 
<laughs> this could be anything, to be honest. There's uh, there's a lot of lewd cards in here, because lewd cards sell. So, let's go ahead and see what we're starting off with here. Okay, this is Hololive. This is Crony. Uh, uh, these are the Super Expo. This is the English version. I sent a few of these out, mostly EN. I don't know if I sent any JP out, but uh, Council and Myth is in here. Not the entire set, but we do have some, some decent heavy hitters, so... That looks nice, crony. That's the standard hollow. I bought a couple of booster boxes for that. I did not spring for a case or anything. Uh, I'm gonna separate the Weiss and the Pokemon over here. Okay. Another Weiss Schwartz card. Okay, there's Cali, 9.5. Again, uh, English. That's a, these are nice cards. So you get a guaranteed a hollow for every pack, but, um,. Yeah, the ones that bring real money or are super valuable really are the um, the stamped Hollow of Super Expo 2022 ones. Okay, so there we go. Fauna pulls a 9. Wow, really a 9 on Fauna? Oh, that stinks. Why is she... She's a little twisted, but I'm not sure why they gave her a 9. Hmm. Alright, well, we got a 9 Fauna. Alright, here we go. So might know which one this one is. This might be. Oh, no, this is Ollie. An eight? What happened to Ollie? An eight? Really? Wow. Okay, that's... These are all from the same sets of packs. These are all encapsulated the same way. These are all sent off the same way. Is there whitening down there? Huh, it kind of looks like... Or is that on every card? No, it does look like there's a... There's lightning down there. That's interesting. That must be a print error. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So, there is... You can kind of see it if it'll focus. 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 There it goes. So there's white dots here. Just above my thumb. And those are not... Don't appear to be on every card. So that's interesting. That's probably why she pulled the 8. I'm guessing that must be manufacturing error. Which is odd, because Weiss doesn't usually have that bad of manufacturing. Um, they're usually very high standard cards, but apparently not on that one. Okay, so this one looks better from the outset, at least on the back. And here's Ame, my favorite. I was hoping she would pull the 10. 9.5 isn't bad, Gem Mint. So I will be keeping her, without a doubt. She can go over there. Ame is my favorite from Hololive. Second is Gargura, just in case you were wondering. Okay, and final card here. We have, okay, we have uh, Laplace Darkness. I think she's one of the only JPs that I sent along. Um, 8.5. she have that same problem? Hold on, let me look here. Does she? Yeah, she kind of does. So it's kind of at the bottom of the wing here. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, for some reason she has like this, this white dotting there. Must be a manufacturing issue. Interesting. Huh. Fascinating. Anyway, uh, how many tens do we have so far? We have one, two, three, four tens so far. So we're getting into the second half of the first box and we're 13 minutes in okay i think i know what this is this is probably not going to grade super high as well but i wanted to send it along because it is vintage okay that pulls the 5.5 so that is erica's venusaur uh the japanese version uh from uh challenge from the darkness i guess they called it over there and uh that is a hollow it's a nice card don't get me wrong but it's not a it's not a particularly high grade but that's okay Okay, we're back into JP for uh, Pokemon. Oh, perfect 10 Vaporeon. <laughs> of course the Vaporeon pulls the perfect 10. Oh, that is a that is a gorgeous card though. I do I do hope that that um, fetches a decent price and a perfect. That is a beautiful artwork and beautiful card. This did come out in one of the recent English sets as well. Because nothing for VMAX Climax stayed exclusive much unlike Tag Team GX and the likes, but, uh... Hey guys, did you know... Alright, more JP. 
round. Another Vaporeon, that one pulls the 9.5. That will probably fetch basically nothing. I'm sure there's a billion of those out there, but we did get a perfect 10 on that other Vaporeon, so I'm happy with that. All right, back to Weiss Schwartz. I did not send these in in any discernible order whatsoever, clearly. Okay, so here we start getting into the Sneaker Bunker loot card. So this is an uncommon, Mint 9. Um, what is this from? I don't even know. Secret Relationship... What's her name? Chizato. Why Schwartz Japanese Sneaker Bunko. 30th Anniversary. I don't know what this is from. Is it a uh, Testament of Sister New Devil or something? I don't know. Somebody can leave that in a comment. But I gotta be honest with you. Lewd cards sell. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> so there's a lot of them in here. <laughs> and most of them will be up on my eBay page. Okay. So we got another Weiss Schwartz card here. That also pulls the 9. Usually Weiss pulls higher than that. I am surprised, but I think they, they're grading Weiss harder than they did before. Um, to be honest, like I sent in a submission back in probably May or late April of this year, and I had a lot of Weiss Schwartz cards in there, and more often than not, they graded pristine 10 or perfect 10. Now I send off submissions, and they get 9s, and they get 9.5s and whatnot, so I think a lot of that comes from... I don't see any whitening on that one. Is it just off-center? Hold on, let me look here. Yeah, it's it's pretty badly off-center, actually. So, it's off-center. It's actually tilted this uh, top to bottom. This is thicker than up here. And uh, this over here is also kind of tilted the same way. It's thicker up here, and then it's thinner down here. So that's probably what did it. Uh, fair grade. Fair grade. A 9 is still a 9. Nines are fine, <laughs> as I subscribe to, because often the tens are prohibitively expensive for certain cards. Okay, more Y Schwartz, guessing more lewd. Yes, this is this is very lewd. So we have a uh, pristine ten on this one. This is connection refurbishment on whatever the heck this is from. This is a climax common from the sneaker bunko set, but this one grades ten, so that is uh, that is significant actually. Uh, lot. I've seen some of the sneaker bunkos, even the commons, the uncommons, if they grade 10, they go for anywhere from 70 to to $100, depending on the set. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I would definitely, if you have these and you are grading them, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Same card, same grade, another 10. That's awesome to see. Children, avert your eyes. This is not for you, but, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, Really happy to see tens on those. That's, that's a good grade. Sneaker Bunko. I bought a single booster box of Sneaker Bunko, and I think it was. Gosh, I'm trying to think. I probably paid like eighty to ninety dollars for it. You are now lucky to find. And this is the reprint. I didn't even realize the set it originally came out in like 2019, and they reprinted it. Um, you're now lucky to find the booster box for under 140 dollars. So I mean. If I held those cards, that would probably make the most sense, because it's just so significant, uh, significantly going up, and those cards are just kind of flying off the shelf. Okay, I forgot about these. These are kind of ludes from the Konosuba set. So this is Konosuba re-edit, this is an uncommon, this is the Swimsuit Aqua, that pulls a 9.5, not bad. Can't really complain about that, I suppose. I love Konosuba, it's actually my favorite anime, so... This is probably another Konosuba. They're actually in order. Take a look. Yeah, so this is Eris in Swimsuit. That also pulls the 9.5. Not bad. Again, loot cards, swimsuit cards. They sell. They sell very well. Konosuba actually has um, some really great cards, even uncommons in the sets. So if you're looking to pick up like a Weiss Schwartz set, I would recommend that. Uh, Eris in Swimsuit again, 9.5 through 9.5s in a row. Not bad. This is re-edit. These are uncommon. They do have hollows of these cards, but they are... I mean, even raw, last I saw on eBay, cards like this, like the uncommons, were going for like 15 bucks to $20 a pop. So, they're definitely worth having graded if you have them around. Okay, here's another one. I'm imagining this is another Konosuba. It is. Okay, this is We Are The Presence, Megamine, and Aqua. Did I cut the label off there? No, very close, but they didn't. My last submission, they had several label cutoffs. It was kind of weird. But, um, yep, this is the Gem Mint 9.5. 
uh, of that set. Common again. Definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Okay. Here's the darkness. So, so again, 9.5. Flipped it over before I got it on frame. Whoopsie. Uh, okay, so we swept 9.5 gem mints across the board with those. Not a bad average. No 8s or 8.5s or whatever. So I'll take that. Um, I might even sell those as a set or like a bundle. But, uh, yeah, so. Why Schwartz again? Let's see. Okay, so this is Dragon Maid. This is a Dragon Maid Climax Common Lude card. This uh, pulls the 10, which is good. Uh, not much to say about that, except it will sell very well. <laughs> it will, will sell very well, very quickly. Um, okay, Weiss Schwartz. Again, we're probably getting into a Dragon Maid block now, if I had to guess. Um, I'm trying to think what other Dragon... I sent in so many Dragon Maid cards, I don't even know. Oh, what is this? This is more Sneak Up Banco. Common, 9.5, Ray in Connection Refurbishment. I don't even know what series that's from. Pulls the 9.5. Okay, with that. Pull this out again. Okay. Boy Schwartz, 9.5, probably. Yep, 9.5, because I am a 9.5 hell, because I'm created with CGC. Girl, Gural Kingdom, First Princess Flare. No idea. To be honest. I'm not familiar with a lot of the um, the cards that are in Sneeko Banco, to be honest. I think I think the chase card from that set, though, is definitely the signature Megamine. Last I checked, that raw went for like $600, which is kind of insane. 9.5, same thing. More or less. 10s would be great. Please give me more 10s. Oops. 9! Okay, we're going in the opposite direction. Nine mint. All right, another one. This is nine. Okay, that's also from Sneaker Bunko. That is Rivalry Megamine Megumi in Union. Megumi? Who's Megumi? Did they write Megamine more? <laughs> you see that? Who's Megumi? That's supposed to be Megamine. It looks like Megamine. <laughs> hmm, that doesn't seem right. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. That might be a label error. I'm not positive. Alright, what's this here? Knit 9. Okay, more lewd cards. Sneaker Bunko Com. Master Slave Contract with Zest. 9, huh? Let's see. Let me take a closer look at this one. Yep, same issue. So, what we're seeing here. I wonder if Sneaker Bunko just wasn't printed quite as well, or if Weiss Schwartz is trying to push up. Oops, I tapped the camera there. Sorry. So, this is definitely off center. It's thin over here, it's thick over here on the back, pretty significantly too. Um, you can see how much wider it is at the top than it is at the bottom. So, And on the front, it's harder to tell because it's a full art, but I'm guessing there's probably problems with that as well. Alright, let's see. More Weiss Schwartz. Nine. So this is uh, Union, Daughter of Red Demon. I guess that's how that translates. Yeah, this is Kazuma and Yun Yun. Uh, Mint 9, guessing same off-center issue. Ooh, significantly off-center. You can see here, much thinner. Actually off-kilter like off-centering, because there's an angle from here up to here that's thicker up here. So, yeah, I didn't look at these cards with the most um, detailed eye when I was first sending them, and there was just so many. Um... But yeah, I can definitely say that uh, the grades so far have probably been fair. This is an 8.5. Oh my lord. This is a common. Sneaker Bunko. Is it off-center? It is off-center, but it doesn't look like it's as, uh, it's as off-center. Maybe as, oops, maybe as the other ones. Hmm. I <laughs> really don't know. That's interesting. Is there an issue in the front here? Let me see. Either that, or they just determined that the front is really off-center. It's hard to tell, because they're full arts. You know, they occupy the whole front of the card, so where does it start and where does it stop? I don't know, but... That pulls the 8.5. That's interesting. My Schwartz again. Whoa, we got a piece of something on there. The box broke off. That pulls the 9. That is also a common. Referment connection with... Yulcia? 
Ulyssia? Ulyssia? Ulyssia, I assume? I don't know what, what series that's from at all. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, okay, more white Schwartz. Guessing this also looks kind of off-kilter, so it's not going to be a 10. Pulls 9.5, though. It's better than the 8.5. Uh, yeah, refurbished with Alni. Ain and Grace. Right, I'm looking for the camera here. Common. I mean, 9s, 9.5s. They're okay, even in white shorts and even for cars like these. Whoops, I flipped that one over before I got to the camera again. Just the 9.5, common. Seen it before. And last one of the first box. We're at 25 minutes. This video is probably going to be well over an hour. Uh, let's see. Nine. So I'll pull a nine on that one, too. So the, the Sneaker Bunko Commons did not fare particularly well on, on that. I'm not 100% sure if that's common, or if I've got a cracked box, or what. But there goes the first box of three. Let's see here. Shake the camera all around. Get this out of the way. Is this box full? Almost? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna go in order here. Okay, we're back to Pokemon. Pokemon English. I don't know what this is. What is that? Some gump on here. Ew. Okay. Uh, flip it around. Okay. Okay. So now we are getting into the rainbow rares, and the um, these should mostly be uh, sun and moon and sword and shield secret rares. So we're gonna start off with Mawile. That pulls a nine. I don't expect these. Oh, up here. At the top of the stack. Move over a little bit. So I don't expect those to grade, like, insanely high, um, but, sorry, moving stuff around, so many cards, alright, I don't expect these to grade, like, insanely high, um, we're back to Weiss Schwartz, what the heck did I do, what did they do, oh, that is it, that is awesome, okay, that is the Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Trust with the Dragons, Miss Kobayashi signature. I, pull, I bought two booster boxes, and I pulled this signature, and it grades pristine 10. That is awesome. That is, like, the penultimate card right there in this whole box, I think. In this whole submission, perhaps. Um, I submitted at the end. It was second from last of the second box. No idea. But that is awesome. I'm so glad that card pulled a 10. It's not a perfect, but I will take a pristine 10. That is... That is really, really significant. <laughs> I'm like, give me as many 8s and 9s and 8.5s you want from here on out. That is the card right there. That is incredible. I am thrilled with that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, more Y Schwartz. Oh, Alulu pulls 10 as well. May Dragon Rare, Pristine 10. I love Alulu. Best Dragon. Um, I have a lot of Alulu cards in here, actually. This is actually the MDR I don't have this one yet. She pulls the 10 as well. That is awesome. I guess that was a really good print run of Dragon Maid. I'm thrilled. I, I gotta be honest. So, let's see if we can keep the streak going here. More White Schwartz. 9.5. Okay, that's fine. That's a Lukua May Dragon Rare. Probably not the most significant May Dragon Rare that, uh, that I've ever seen, but that's okay. Alright, that. Right, keep going. 9.5. So this is not a signature, even though it has the gold text on it. This is just a regular May Dragon Rare that pulls the 9.5. I'm okay with that as well. Uh, that's a Toru May Dragon Rare. Do I have any other MDRs in here? I'm trying to think. I probably would have put them together. We do have more white shorts. We do. Oh, no, we don't. This is... <laughs> I sent this in because it was in a Lulu or a Ruru with like her JP name. Um card that also pulls the 10 that's cute i'm just gonna keep that one but um that also pulls the 10 so dragon maid so far so good no complaints um oh i stacked those in the wrong spot hold on a second you can go over here because it's a 9.5 it's a 9.5 it's a 9.5 that's a 10 10 10 okay so 
I'll flip this one around. Okay, that's Gogoturagon Glukua. That's a rare, so that is a hollow. And uh, that pulls the 10 as well. There's just a really good print run of Dragon Maid, apparently. I should have bought more boxes. Um, after guessing more Dragon Maid. Okay, never mind. I, uh, I'm swinging a miss. <laughs> Immediate 8.5. That won't go for much because that's just a regular rare. When you're bit when you're batting with commons, uncommons, and rares, maybe less so with rares, but definitely with commons and uncommons. Um, it's kinda like ten or bust. Like this will probably go for I don't know. Freebie, maybe. But um Yeah, that's pretty cool. We had a good run with a uh, Dragon Maid, so more. Oh, we got a perfect ten Gogo Churrigons. Aruru, or Alulu, as I call her, because that's her English name. Perfect 10 rare. That is awesome. That is... And we're back, we're back in it, boys. We had one, we had one flop. Um, uh, half the stack so far, I think, is just going to be Dragon Maid. Okay, there's a pristine 10, same card. I will keep one of those. The dupes will definitely go up on, on eBay. So look out for that if you are interested more white Schwartz. We got a 10. Perfect made Toru. That's a double rare. Now the double rares, they're novelty cards, kind of. Same with the rares. You you get popular characters, you get cards that people like, and they don't go for insane amounts of money depending on the character. Um, if they're 10s, they definitely bring a premium, but you know, their 10s are like 50 or $60, or I've had them go up to 70 sometimes. They make great presents, they make great, you know, gifts. Sorry for the weird cut there. My phone decided to stop recording for some reason. Uh, Toru. Okay, here we go. Next one. Okay, we've got a Lukua. Perfect 10. That is awesome. I've sold this card before. It did very, very well. Um, yeah, not a lot to say about that. Other than awesome. Good to see. Like that. Okay. Why Schwartz again? I'm not sure how much track is in here. I'm guessing a lot of it. Okay, pristine 10, double rare, school swimsuit Kana. Some people like Kana. Uh, those sell. Don't know what kind of people are buying those, but, you know, it is what it is. She is adorable. Um, let's go ahead and see. Okay, pristine 10, rare. This is not, I think there's an MDR version of this. This is not it. This is just the rare, but, um, pristine 10. Happy to see another 10. This was just a fantastic box of, um, of Dragon Maid, apparently. So let's see here. Uh, more. Okay, that's awesome. That is the Memories doll. What the heck did they do there? The Luru? <laughs> so they won't, they went to do either a Lulu or a Ruru, and they wrote a Luru, which is, it's not right. That's, that's kind of interesting. That's definitely a, um, hmm, I don't know, I don't know what to make of that. It is a 10. I don't, I don't know what to make of that one. Okay, okay, now we're back into Pokemon, for now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. 9.5, so here's another Rainbow Rare. This is the Dragonite V-Star from Pokemon Go. This is, uh, this is actually a secret rare from the set. This is 086 out of 071. You can't see it perfectly on the, um, on the recording, but that is, um, some pretty good looking, um, texturing on that card. I like it a lot. 9.5. Can't complain, I guess. Okay, more Pokemon. This is, okay, we got a 10. Hisuian Zoroark V-Star, Dark Phantasma. I don't know what this goes for, to be honest, in a 10. I couldn't even, <laughs> I don't think I could even foster a guess. Um, these are not particularly rare cards. Some people really like Hisuian, Zoroark, V-Star. I don't fully get it, but, um, yeah. Okay, so we've got, we're back to English. Go ahead and take a look. Nine, Salazzle GX. Okay, we're in Burning Shadows now, which I think is actually notoriously difficult to grade, unfortunately. So we're probably not going to see a lot of tens from there, but, uh, Salazzle GX. They're still secret rares. They're still, um, they're rarer and rarer, to be honest, because they're Sun and Moon era. And, I mean... With Sword and Shield ending soon, well, I guess the penultimate set for Sword and Shield is going to be Crown Zenith that's coming out in, um, January, probably, I think? Um, we're probably not going to see 
um, and we're probably going to see that those sets rise in price immediately following the end of the Sword and Shield era. So here's a nine. This is Naganadel GX. This is an Ultra Beast. I don't think that's a particularly popular Pokemon, but still pulls the nine. I'm okay with that, as long as we're not getting eights and sevens and all that stuff. It's all right. All right, more Pokemon English. Oh, this is adorable. This is the Pikachu 2019 Black Star promo. These are single pack blisters. These are really, really cute. He only pulls the nine, but that's okay. Um, I don't know exactly what these cards go for, but it's actually, if you look down there, it's actually a Sun and Moon card um, from 2019. So it's towards the end of Sun and Moon, but adorable little promo. Mimikyu, Pikachu, easy, easy sales, easy, easy uh, people. Very desirable, I guess you could say. All right, back to Japan. Oof, I was really hoping that would grade better. That stinks. Okay, so there's the Charizard V-Star. It's not the Rainbow Rare, so it's not the best card in the set, but it pulls an 8.5, and I can kind of see already. I mean, it's not that significantly off-center. It's not great, but it's not, like, weird. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. What's up back here? Probably a little bit off-center, top to bottom. Is it... I haven't really been looking, actually, top to bottom, so I don't know that much. I probably should be. Hmm. Weird. Weird. Probably something wrong with that card that I don't have time to investigate, but that's unfortunate. It would have been nice if at least pulled the 9. Alright, back to English. Aw, oh, it's cute. Slowpoke and Psydic GX, 9.5, Unified Minds. Um, very popular GX card from Unified Minds. Uh, 9.5, not a 10, but what can you do? I'm okay with that. All right, Pokemon English again. 8.5 on the Giratina V from Lost Origin. These have dropped significantly. I sent this in, Lost Origin was still kind of new. It's not anymore. It probably will be even less new by the time these all make it up on eBay. And I've got an 8.5. And I mean, looking at it, yeah, I can tell it's off center. I can tell that it's thick over here. And I think it's probably, probably thin down here. The back is significantly off-center, uh, heavy on the left, so yeah, fair grade, unfortunate, is what it is. You just, you swing and you miss sometimes. Okay, Japan. Oh, beautiful. Guard of War EX Pokemon 2021 Japanese. This is the um, Japanese version of Celebrations. That pulls the 10. That is awesome. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. I don't think that will have any problems selling or any, any desirability issues whatsoever. Like to see the ton on there. Okay. More GP. Dawn Fan pulls the 10. Imagine that whole set pulls the 10. I think. I didn't send in the whole set because I think there's what, 25 in the set? Yeah, there's 25 cards in the set, but I sent off a significant number of these. That's two 10s in a row. I'm really happy to see that. Dawn Fan's probably not as valuable as Gardevoir, but, um, all right, okay, more JP. We're going to the other side of the second box now, so I think this is technically our halfway point, <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what we're at. I had to restart the recording, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, the Luxray pulls the perfect 10. Awesome. That is, I, you'll love to see it. That is really significant. Um, that is great. Of all the cards that I sent in, aside from maybe one or two that's upcoming, in terms of um, the 25th anniversary, that's what I wanted to see. Perfect 10 on Luxray. Am I crazy? Is this Luxray? This is Luxray. Oh, come on. Luxray GL. Which is, isn't it Luxray? Is it GL or is it CL? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it is GL. I'm just looking at it wrong on the card itself. Anyway, moving on. Another JP. 10 on the clay doll. Oh, I should have sent in more of these, apparently. This was, um, this was a great patch. I didn't even buy these, like, I did not buy these pack fresh or anything. I got these in, like, um, as part of, like, a lot that I purchased from a guy. It was, they were 
top loaded and everything, but even so, usually when you buy lots, inevitably people pick through them and they send off their cards that they know won't grade 10. That apparently did not happen here. We are uh, 10 so far on our Japanese celebrations, 25th anniversary. So here's the next card. I don't know what this will be exactly. Another 10, Guard Chomp Level X Japanese. This is <laughs> this is awesome. I'm thrilled. Um, Guard Chomp, great. Pristine 10. Can't can't argue with it. Love to see it. I know the original card of that one is pretty significant. It's a pretty heavy hitter. Um, I don't know what exactly the 10 for the anniversary edition goes for, but all right, next one. Let's see. 10, Tapu Lele GX, Pokemon 21 Japanese. That is also 25th anniversary. The texture in these cards is just awesome. Um, also a perfect, or a pristine 10, excuse me. Okay, um, I have, I know there's a card in here that's probably more worth more than the rest of them um, from the 25th anniversary, and I'm betting that one's going to pull a 9.5. I'm calling it right now. There it is. Yep. <laughs> My... Uh, combo Breaker. So, 25th Anniversary, Emerald Break, Mega Rayquaza EX. I think this is one of the most expensive cards in um, in there. And of course, it's the one out of all of them that pulls the 9.5. Because that's that's my life. But, you know, still a 9.5. Still a decent card. But, yeah, not a 10. Not, not even close. So, back to Pokemon English. We might be getting back into the, um, I'm trying to think. We may be getting back into the Rainbow Rares. I'm not positive. Nope, this is interesting. So I sent off a couple of these, just, just kind of for the hell of it. Um, this is Altaria Roaring Skies Reverse Hollow uh, from 2015. So it's an older set now. And these Reverse Hollows actually do sell decently well. There's not a, not a lot of people bother to grade them. This one... I didn't think it had a shot at the 10. I'm glad it pulled the 9 and, like, not the 8.5, because that actually is pretty significantly off-centered, I think, if I'm looking at this correctly. But, yeah. So, that's interesting, um, as far as, like, an experimental card to set in goes. Alright, let's see here. Pokemon. Oh! <laughs> That is awesome. This is the last Marnie. And what I mean by that is I have collected and I own every single Marnie card except for this one. This is the corner of the Morpico V Union from VMAX Climax. This was just announced and I was I chased like four boxes of VMAX Climax for this card. Didn't get it. It's, I think it's actually considered like it takes like the character secret rare spot. It's generally guaranteed like maybe one or two per box. Um... And I chased this forever, finally gave up, finally bought it off of eBay. And then they just announced this is actually going to be a promo card in the upcoming sets, uh, as part of like a box set. So that sucks. Pokemon loves doing that to Japanese cards. Um, but I am still thrilled to see that this pulls the perfect 10. Um, I have, as art-wise, I have every other Marnie card um, that has basically ever been printed, I believe. Um, and that is the last one that I needed. So, thrilled about that. I'll be keeping that one, I think. Okay, English Pokemon. Interesting. Again, this is another one of those experimental reverse hauls that I sent in. Also from Roaring Skies 2015. Older set now. Uh, 2015 is what? Seven years ago? 15, 16, 17. Yeah, seven years ago. Uh, going on eight years ago now. So, these cards are getting up there. They really are. And, uh, yeah. So that looks, uh, looks all right for a nine. Not a ten. Didn't expect them to get ten. In English cards don't grade ten. What are you, crazy? <laughs> um, more Pokemon English. Okay, so here we're getting into the Rainbow Rares. Uh, Chili, Silent, and Cress. I looked this up. I figured this would be, like, awful. A, not particularly popular, like, gym leaders or trainers, Gaifus. Um... Fusion Strike, this set is actually from. But I looked it up, and this card, at the time when I sent it in anyway, and I mean, who knows more have come onto the market, or if I was just looking at an off eBay day, but this actually is um, a decently expensive card. Um, I don't know how 9s do. You always hope you grade at least 9.5, but 
uh, we'll see. So, probably more, um, Rainbow Rares, I would guess. Nope, this is a 9.5 Dragonite. Okay, if we're gonna see a 9.5, I'm glad it was on the Dragonite from these. Again, Roaring Skies, 2015 Reverse Hollow. Uh, these are really nice cards. I like the reverse pattern on them. Um, this is actually great. 9.5 Jet Mint, which is pretty good for English. English print. Yeah, I like that. I like those cards. And my piles are getting kind of big here, so I'm going to move that over there. My ten pile is surprisingly large, and more than half that I think is Dragon Mate, so... There's that. Take that as you will. Okay, more English. Salamence grades 9. So 9, 9, 9.5, and 9 for those. Um, that's a regular hollow, though. You can see the hollow pattern on there. Not bad. Not going to, um, to really complain about that. That's, uh, that's also Roaring Skies. Looks good. All right, more English. Swallow. This is different. This is, um, I think they call this like an ancient trait card or something. It's a hollow, but it's also kind of a full art, but not really. You can see that the actual card itself goes all the way down to the bottom. That grades nine. Uh, looks kind of off center a little bit. I don't know if I'll back. Could be a little, it looks a little bit tilted here to here. Uh, so yeah, grades nine. Is what it is. Not bad. I don't know what Swallow goes for, but I had I had it. I wanted to send it off to see what would happen. Okay, so back to a white Schwartz block. I don't really know what this is. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. We might be getting the more Dragon Maid or Sneaker Bungo. Okay, we got another Aruru. Perfect 10. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Uh, that's a rare. Love a Lulu. Perfect. Card. Got another one here. Perfect 10. Okay, that's a super rare Grace and Heart Hybrid from Sneaker Bunko. If we're going to get perfect 10s of the Sneaker Bunko, I'm glad it's from the super rares. Um, I have no idea what series this is. It's not really a lewd card, but as a perfect, I hope that it does pull decent valuation. I'll have to do see if there's any comps to speak of for this, but that's cool. Love that. That is awesome. It kind of makes me wonder. I don't know how much truth there is to this. It makes me wonder if the commons and the uncommons in Sneaker Bunko or in any Weiss set are um, printed differently or like if more effort goes into the super rares and the um, like the signature cards compared to um, compared to the others. I don't know. It's interesting. Okay, Pristine 10. This is a triple rare, so it's still a hollow. Um, Sneaker Bunko. What is it? The Legend of the Rabbit in the Moon. I have no idea. I, I, I have no idea. I'm not enough of a weep for this. I'm not weeb enough for this. I didn't think I'd see the day, but either way, 10. Tens are good. I like tens. All right. Way Schwartz. Again. Okay, here we go. That's a rare. That's uh, a lewd card. Pristine 10. Love to see it. Uh, it'll sell. It'll definitely sell. <laughs> Uh, my 10 pile is actually looking pretty darn healthy. Um, I sent this in a submission, gosh, I'm trying to think, not that long ago, probably August or September. I guess it's been a little while. And uh, I did not get hardly any 10s. It was, it was pretty heartbreaking. So I'm, I'm thrilled to see that our 10s are so much better now than they were uh, for that previous mission. Okay, more White Schwartz. 10... Double rare for this one. This is Swimsuit Chocolate. Don't know. I have no idea what set this is from, but she graded 10, and it's a booby card, so that's always a good thing. Okay, another one. Still Weiss Schwartz. Sneaker Bunko, I guess? Okay, yeah, Sneaker Bunko, double rare. Uh, this is... Does this say Megumi again? Megumi. Looks like Megamine to me. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. I think it should say Megamine, shouldn't it? <laughs> or is that like, is that, am I missing something there? Just in the sense of like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, okay. Uh, white shorts again. Okay. So that's a regular rare. Yuki and the Master Servant Contract white shorts Japanese sneaker bunko rare perfect ten. Uh, kind of a booby card. 
Definitely a, a more lewd card. Perfect. Ten. Love to see it. Okay. Oh, flip that around, around too early. Still ten. Swimsuit song. Rare. Uh, again, series beats me, but pristine ten. Wow, okay. We're really getting some tens here now. That is, that is great to see. I'm, uh, I was gonna do a review of all the tens at the end, but there might be too many if it's a third of the submission. Okay, this won't be a ten because it's Pokemon English. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Never mind, it does pull a 10. This is the Brilliant Stars Urshifu VMAX Gold card. Uh, pulls a 10. That is that is awesome. Great to see that. Uh, is this Trainer Gallery? Yeah, it is TG29 out of TG30, so that's cool. And actually, an English Pokemon card that grades 10. You don't normally see many of those. Okay, back to Japanese. So, let's see. Flip it around. 9.5 on the Frost Moth with Melanie. Um... I know it says Frozmoth, but really this is more of a Melanie card. That's why people buy them. Uh, 9.5. Not awful. Not amazing. We'll take it. We have to take it. Choice. More Japanese. Pokemon. 10. Okay. Single Strike Urshiva V. Character Super Rare. Pristine 10. Love to see it. Goes into the 10 pile. Pokemon. 9.5, so there's Charizard and Braxine GX. I wish, gosh, couldn't you have created 10 for me? Just one of these, please, grade 10. Of course not. Uh, pulls the 9.5, not too bad. It is a Charizard card. It's not like one of the most desirable Charizard cards, but it is technically a Charizard card, so they sell. Okay, last one from this box, and then we're on to our last box. We're going Pokemon Japanese again. Okay, there's a 10. Venusaur and Snivy GX Remix Bout. Card number 1 out of 64. Looks good. Can't complain about a 10. I think that's the first one of... I have I submitted quite a few of these. I think that's the first 10 we've gotten on those partner starter cards. Toss that box to the side. Yeet. Last box. Oh, this one has my, my web submission form in it. Toss that aside. Move this out of the way. Okay, this is the last box. It's not completely full because uh, I didn't submit a full 150 cards. Thankfully nothing got rejected. It's not in any of these boxes. So, I'm guessing, because we haven't seen a ton of those Rainbow Rares, I'm guessing most of this box is going to be the Rainbow Rares would be my guess. So, here we go. English, Pokemon, 8. Uh, Mega Pidgeot EX 8 from Evolutions. Oof. Oof. An 8, huh? I don't think... It's a gorgeous card, right? It's Mega Pidgeot. You know, it's kind of old now. It's 2016. Um, I don't think that goes for anything. <laughs> really? I don't think that goes for much of anything. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright. More English... So, flip that around. Okay, we've got nine Mega Magnetric EX. That's from Phantom Forces. That's the Alt Art Mega Powers Collection. That's not a bad looking card. It's a Mint 9. Let's see, is there anything wrong with this one in particular that I can see? It might be a bit off. Off the bottom. I don't see any whitening in the corners or anything. Hmm. I don't know. Put that aside. Right, next one. Pidgeot EX pulls the 8.5. Well, you beat your cousin, but uh, not by much. <laughs> That's that. Uh, I don't know what the heck those are going to go for. Probably not a lot. Again, these will all be up on eBay or Mercari or some combination of the two. Or the, I think I even have an Etsy page that I sell mystery boxes and stuff on if you want to check that out. Some of these might wind up going to... Maybe it'll cost a couple of tens in the mystery boxes. Uh, something like that. So, 9, Galarian Zapdos V. This is a Sonya card, really. Um, character rare. This is from Astral. Yeah, mid 9. It is what it is. I don't know. Maybe maybe they, they go for more than I think they do, but modern typically doesn't. <laughs> um, okay, Pokemon English. 9.5 on the Full Art Clara. Okay, I mean, I'll take that. I, I will take that. I'm okay with that. Um... It's not a 10. 10 would have been nice on her, but it's a waifu card, so that's good. There are quite a few waifu cards in here for Pokemon, I think. Um, 
I remember correctly. And they're, they've got to be in this box. We're on the last box, so let's see. Yep, there's one. Ooh, Honey pulls a 10 from Chilling Rain English. That's awesome. I don't know what... I don't know what she goes for, but... Usually, the English 10s go for more than the Japanese 10s. And it, it is a waifu card, so... I would like to see that. Um, that's cool. Let's see... And it's not a rainbow either. The rainbows don't go for as much uh, for the trainer cards. So, Pokemon, English. Ooh, Cheryl, rainbow. It is rainbow, but it get, also gets the 10. That's awesome to see. Thrilled. To, you'll love to see that. My 10 pile is about to hit my lamp. I, I, have, to, I have to move it a little bit because it's about to hit the bottom of the lamp. That's how high it's gotten. Um, this is an awesome submission. I gotta admit, I'm very happy to see it. Clara, Rainbow, pulls the pristine 10. Wow, I can't believe it. She looks kind of off... Does she? A little bit off-center. She must have just squeaked it. Yeah, she's off-center on the back, too. She must be perfect in every other way, because I can tell from, from just looking at it, she's OC. Not significantly. She's definitely borderline 10, but I'm glad she's 10. That is awesome to see. That is <laughs> surprising to see, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. CGC, 10 again, Karina's Focus, Battle Styles, Pristine 10. You'll love to see it. That is awesome. Super great to see. Um, another 10. 10 pile is... I mean, it's not the highest pile. I have multiple other piles, but it's it's up there. It's We're getting 10s. And these... I gotta, tell, I gotta tell you, right? Some of these cards, I did not even resleeve. As in the sense that, like, I got them, I bought them in a lot from a guy, and they showed up, like, in top loaders, and they showed up in top loaders that were, like, double sleeved. Like, he had sleeved the card initially in, like, a penny sleeve, and then he took, like, one of those deck sleeves with the solid backs and sleeved it the opposite direction, so they were double sleeved in a top loader. And I was like, CGC will probably figure this out, right? So I just sent them in like that. I never looked at the back of some of these cards, and um, they're pulling 9.5s and 10s. That's Team Yelgrunt from Sword and Shield. I'm, um, I'm surprised. I really, I mean, don't, don't do, <laughs> don't do what I do, but I'm, I'm really surprised and impressed at the quality of these cards, I gotta admit. That looks off-center. That looks kind of painfully off-center, so let's see. Yep, yeah, that is painfully off-center. To the point that it is an 8. That's unfortunate, but, you know, it's okay. Because, I mean, look at how off-center the front is. How thick it is over here compared to over here. That I just sent off for, for the heck of it. That was definitely not going to grade well, no matter what. Okay. More English. 9. Caitlin. Chilling Rain. 213 and 198. That's alright. Alright, I got another one here. Nine, Doctor, Chilling Rain. That's all right. Not bad. Everything's just gravy at this point. More English. Nine again on Beauty. It's not bad. As long as we're getting nines, 9.5s on these. Um, I'm not gonna... I, it's kind of what you expect from English. It really is. That's off-center. Pulls a nine. Okay, now we're getting into... Back into, like, the Rainbow Pokemon... Um, Sun and Moon era, I think. There's quite a few of these in here, too. So that pulls the 9. Sil Valley GX. Ultra Beast, those sort of things. There's a lot of them in here. I don't know. I don't think they're anybody's favorite Pokemon, as I say with the Ultra Beast mat below me. But, um, let's see. 9.5 Alolan Persian GX. Not bad. I just want to watch the rest of this box. There won't be a 10. <laughs> the rest of the box that won't be a 10. Um, more English. 9.5 Blacephalon GX. Woo! Everybody's favorite Pokemon. I should have knocked all the bees too much. They were kind of cool. I like Buzzwole. The, the Swole Bee was fun. Um, but I don't I don't know how much of a life they have in terms of... Oh, Oricorio GX. Now we're really getting in there. People love Oricorio, I'm sure. Um... Not bad. Then none of them are really. I gotta admit, none of them are like they're not grading like eight or you know eight point five or whatever. Like I was worried about. So 
yeah, 9.5 Cobalion GX from Team Up. That's not a bad, um, that's not a bad pull. All right. Nine on the Hoopa GX from Team Up as well. This is 2019, Sunday Moon era. Early. Tauros GX, Mint 9 from Sun and Moon. Not bad. I don't know. Does that, do people like Tauros? They might. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, 8. Here's here's the worry. Those the might start to set in. Vic, Vikavolt GX. Is that an Ultra Beast? I can't remember. I don't think so? Charge a bug. No, I don't think it's an Ultra Beast. I barely remember that Pokemon at all. That's like one of those Pokemon that you forget exists. Um, let's see. 9.5 on the Ampharos. Not bad. Not bad. Better than an 8. That's for sure. 10! On the Heatran. Okay. That's awesome. Heatran. Technically a legendary. I think some people do like Heatran. Pristine 10. So he graded well. See? Just don't even look at your cards, kids. It'll all work out for you in the end. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually a really good looking card. I don't know what they go for in a 10, but we're going to find out when they hit uh, eBay and I make $12 off of them. Or I lose $12 on them. 9, Shift Tree GX, Celestial Storm. Now that's slightly older Sun and Moon set, I believe. Um... Yeah, 2018. Looks good. This I gotta admit, in terms of like in terms of rainbows, um that's probably my preferred um generation is Sun and Moon. Something about the Sword and Shield rainbows just didn't didn't hit quite the same, if that makes sense. Speaking of Buzzwool from earlier, there's one right there from Crimson Invasion. Mint 9, Buzzwool, Swole. Buzz Buzz. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. It's been a lot of cards. Um, <laughs> Alright. More English. Guessing more. Rainbow. Oh, Faramosa. Eight. Oof. But, does anyone like Faramosa? I don't know. I don't know. This is Rainbow is a secret rare. It's from Sun Moon. I graded it. I sent it in. I threw, I threw my dice. Um, more English. 8.5 Guzzlord GX from Crimson Invasion. Better than an 8, marginally. Let's see here. This is more English. Kartana GX, Pokemon 2017 from Crimson Invasion. At least it pulls a 9. Uh, that'll be a 10. 8.5, Stack Attacka. People like Stack Attacka, right? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they don't. Okay. Nine, Bayonet. I know people like Bayonet, so there's one. Celestial Storm again. 2018, it looks like. Good looking card, really. Um, let's see, the next one. All right. Looks like we're gonna be looking at English. That's Celesteela GX Pokemon 2018 Ultra Prism. Celesteela is right here. Uh, do more of these. 9.5 Zerka Tree GX Ultra Prism this time. That looks alright. Let's see what this we've got. Uh, Mint 9. Nihilego. Nihilego. This thing right here. <laughs> Ultra Beast. What are you gonna do? All right. Oh, I want to flip that over instantly. Mint nine, Sil Valley again. Didn't we have one of those earlier? I might have a dupe or two in here. All right, more Pokemon English. Eight point five Macargo GX because <laughs> Macargo's is everyone's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. It's all right. Eight point five on him. Point five on Kingdra, Black Star promos, Dragon Majesty Super Premium Collection. Is this a promo? It is a Black Star promo. Okay, that makes sense. Um, 
these Sun and Moon cards really are hard to grade. I don't care if they're packed fresh, I don't care if they're, you know... The, some of the later print runs for Sun and Moon were just so bad quality control-wise. Let's see. Verizian GX from Lost Thunder, 8.5. Now, can we see why this guy is an 8.5? Let's see. I'll stop for a second and take a look. Um, he's a little bit OC. I don't see any... Oh, I think I see the problem. So you can't really see it on camera. But the classic sun and moon, like, cutting issue, he's actually got a frayed edge up here. So that probably contributed, would be my guess. The front... Yeah, he's also pretty... He's actually pretty off-center. Uh, there's, there's this pinkish line here, and then there's supposed to be the silver line, or the overall silver face of the card, and this is significantly smaller than this on this side, so... Is it bad top to bottom, too? Yeah, it's also bad top to bottom. So these cards are getting fair grades, it's just, a, it's a print quality issue. Like, they aren't, they aren't damaged, they don't have bad, like, played corners or anything, it's just... It's just how Sun and Moon kind of is. Unfortunately, we're ending on probably the weakest part of the, um, of the submission, but I didn't know what, what order they packed them in. So, let's see. This is... You know, oh, that pulls 9.5. That's not bad. Gem Man. Toxapex, I hate you. Uh, in competitive with every fiber of my being. You and Ferrothorn, um, suck. Because you're really annoying. So, if you're a Toxapex or a Ferrothorn player out there that loves stall teams, uh, just know I hope uh, you die in a fire. Uh, or your uh, Ferrothorn dies in a fire. I, I should specify. Uh, 9.5, Nagadal and Guzzlord GX. This is Team Up. So, Team Up's a better set overall. Definitely just because, I mean, A, you have two Pokemon in a single card. That always helps. Um, and Team Up, I don't think Team Up got that much of a, um, well, I, I should say it's a tag team card. It's actually from Cosmic Eclipse. But these Team Up featured cards or these tag team featured cards, um, they are desirable. They're definitely desirable. Uh, Pokemon... Okay, here we go. So now we're at the like the very end. I think the last of these are going to be um, these are like evolutions and like maybe breakpoint or or something like that. Um, I think these are trainer trainer cards. So here's Brock's grit. He pulls a nine. It's not bad. And this here, eight point five on Misty. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. Go through here again. Nine on Wally. That's awesome. Could be worse. Could be better, but you know, we're dealing with some older cards here. What is what was Wally again? He's Roaring Skies from 2015. Okay. Uh, this one here. 8.5 on Winona. Also from Roaring Skies. And then last one here. This is the last card of the day. Finish on a 10? Probably not. Nine on Shauna from Fates Collide Altar XY Premium Trainers Collection. Fun fact. Now, the nines, that's not bad. I'll take a nine all day long um, from, from this set. But this is like the, the Premium Trainers XY Collection box. Came out in 2017. And it had like 12 promos in it. And they were just all bangers. And I don't know why <laughs> they were all bangers and why this is the best box I mean, look at how cute this card is. You know, the art is art is great. It's kind of a, the older art style, which I prefer anyway. The texturing on it is, is awesome, or the, I should say the hollow on it is awesome. Um, and this has, like, the, the Jirachi, like, the fireworks Jirachi in it, and it has the, um, um, it has a couple of really good other trainer cards in it. It has um, Delinquent, which I think is a really cool card with the Mighty Anna on it. I might put these up on screen. I might not. Um, they're just really cool cards and i i don't know why they were all isolated into that one set or why that one set had 12 promos in it that just happened to all be awesome but they were so i've got a huge stack of tens here <laughs> let me let me just like maybe i'll count them we'll just do a count of well, maybe i'll try to oh god can i move all you into frame without knocking you over probably not would be my guess oh, yeah so we have this massive stack and we have 
this massive stack. And these are all of our tens. So we did pretty darn well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Alright, so we didn't screw up my count. I think we have roughly 42 tens um, here in the pile, which is awesome. That is a great rate of return. I'm, I'm super happy with that, and... Uh, yeah, again, keep a lookout. A lot of these are going to wind up on eBay. A lot of these are going to wind up on, like, Mercari or my other web stores. They're going to be down in the description below. And I plan to do more content like this. We're going to do some unboxing, some box breaks, some openings, and that sort of thing. So if you're into that, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Click like, all that other YouTuber garbage end-of-the-video nonsense. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.